Okay, so first of all, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to write symbols and equations in Microsoft Word. So first of all, go to insert and then symbol and more symbols. And here is a list of all of the possible symbols you can use in Microsoft Word. And you can also select different types of symbols from the drop down box. Now, in order to insert a symbol, you can double click on it and it will appear on the page. You can also use the shortcut key down the bottom here. So, for example, there is this shortcut key. And if you see a comma in one of these shortcut keys, that it's not telling you to type the comma. It's just separating the first part of the keyboard shortcut from the second part of the shortcut. So, for example, for the degree symbol, you need to press the control at keys and then the space bar and it will insert the degree symbol. Some of the keyboard shortcuts are quite intuitive. For example, for an A with a dash over the top of it, you need to press the control and dash symbols and then the A key. And then for the a with two dots over the top of it, you need to press the control and colon keys and then the A key to get the A with two dots symbol. Now, some of the symbols that are more unusual don't have an intuitive keyboard shortcut, they just have a number. So, for example, to get this T symbol, you need to type 0162 and then Alt X to get the T symbol. If you know you're going to be using a symbol a lot, you can create a shortcut key for it by typing the shortcut key into this box here. And it will also warn you if you're trying to use a keyboard shortcut that has already been assigned to something. You can also use the autocorrect feature. You can put in here some text you want to be replaced with the symbol. Most of the autocorrect options are used for if you misspell something. There's also a separate option up here which is math autocorrect. You can select this box here which is use math autocorrect rules outside of math regions. This will allow you to use the math keyboard shortcuts even when you're not inside the equation editor. You can create your own math keyboard shortcuts here and then here is a complete list of all of the ones that you can use. So for example if you do backslash alpha and then a space, it will change to the alpha symbol. This will also work for beta and omega. And then if you do omega with a capital O, it will change to the capital letter omega. You can also do backslash alpha and then right next to it, do backslash hat and then space. And it will put a hat on top of the alpha symbol. Word has a lot of different keyboard shortcuts and most of them are quite intuitive. So for example, backslash sum will give you the sum symbol, backslash sim will give you this symbol, backslash ne will give you the not equals to symbol because ne stands for not equals, uh, backslash Therefore, we'll give you the therefore symbol, a uh, backslash int will give you the integration symbol, backslash infty will give you the infinity symbol, uh, backslash right arrow will give you a right arrow. And there are also multiple ways of getting the same symbol in Word. So, for example, if I go back to more symbols, I can insert the plus or minus sign by double clicking on it. I can also use its character code. So I can type 00B1 and then Alt X and it will change to the plus minus symbol. I can also use the backslash P 
pm and then press the space bar and it will change to the plus minus symbol because pm stands for plus minus and I can also just type in the plus symbol and then the minus symbol immediately after it and it will change to the plus minus symbol. Now if we move on to having a look at equations to open up the equation editor go to insert and then equation there is also a keyboard shortcut for doing this which is alt equals then the equation editor will show you lots of commonly used symbols and you can also use the drop down list here to select different kinds of symbols here you have the option of adding in different components to build your equation so you can add in a fraction here and then there's also some common fractions that you can use and you can insert them and then edit them all of these options here have different drop down boxes with different options in them if we use the fraction as an example we can insert a fraction here and then use the left arrow to get inside the box and then the up and down arrow keys to go up and down the fraction then we can type in whatever we want and then use the right arrow key to get out of the fraction you can also type a fraction by just doing 2-3 and then the space bar and it will change into a fraction if you want more than one thing on the numerator, you need to put it in brackets. So 1 plus 2 divided by 3 and then spacebar will become this fraction. You can also add superscripts in the equation editor. So you can type A and then the hat symbol and 2 and then a spacebar and it will change to a superscript. And for a subscript, you need to do B underscore three and then space, and it will change to the subscript. A letter can also have both a superscript and a subscript by putting in a hat symbol and the underscore symbol. You will notice that all of the letters are in italics and the font inside the equation editor is Cambria Math. Now inside the equation editor we can also use all of the math keyboard shortcuts that I showed you earlier. So for example backslash alpha and then space will give you the alpha symbol. You can also use these keyboard shortcuts slightly differently inside the equation editor. For example you can do backslash VEC for vector, then press the space bar once, then press the space bar twice to open up the box. Then the left arrow will move you inside the box and you can type whatever you want to be inside the vector. And then you can press the right arrow to get outside the box. And there's lots of keyboard shortcuts that will work this way. For example, backslash dot spacebar once spacebar twice will open up the box then left arrow will put you inside the box you can type whatever you want and then right arrow will move you outside the box other examples of this are backslash sum then spacebar once spacebar twice will open up the box you can also do backs backslash and then square root and then space and then space again and then the left arrow key to get you inside the box then you can write a fraction and do the space bar and open up the fraction then you need to press the right arrow once to get outside the fraction and then a second time to get out of the square root you can also do an integration symbol and then a hat two and then an underscore three and then spacebar to get an integration symbol with numbers at the top and bottom now once you have your equation you can click on the gray bar at the side and go to save as new equation and then you can call it whatever you like and select ok and now if i go to insert and equation 
you can see that there are a lot of built-in equations, but if I scroll to the bottom, you can see we have the equation that I just created. So I can click on this and it will add in another copy of the equation. This is useful if you're going to be using the same equation multiple times. Now, if I press Alt equals normally, it will automatically put the equation in the middle of the page. In order to get an inline equation, you need to type something first and then press Alt equals. Then you can type out your equation. So for example, if x squared equals 36, then solve 3x plus 5. And you can see at the moment, then solve is in italics. In order to fix this, we need to click on the text option here and it will change it to normal text. Another way of doing this is to select the then solve and press alt equals and it will convert it back to normal text and create two separate text boxes. There is also an option here called ink equation. I don't particularly like this option. I don't think it works very well, but you can type out an equation and then insert it if you want to. Now, the default in Word is to use Unicode to write equations. However, you can change this to LaTeX code if you prefer, which is a slightly different syntax. For example, if I wanted to create a fraction in LaTeX, I would have to do backslash FRAC and then in curly brackets, type the numbers that I wanted and then press enter in order to create my fraction. Also, if I wanted to create a vector, I would have to do backslash BEC and then in curly brackets, whatever I wanted to type in and then enter. Now there is also an option in equation tools to convert to a linear look and this is converting the equation into what it would look like if I typed it out using LaTeX code and if I change this back to Unicode I can also change it to show approximately what I actually typed in. And then also all linear will change all of the equations in the document and all professional will change them all back again. Now, if we want to create numbered equations, the easiest way of doing this is to go to insert and table and to create a table with two columns and one row, and then cut and paste the equation into the table, and then change the justification so it is left aligned. Then go to references and insert caption, and change the label to equation, and then select exclude label from caption. So we have just the number, and then select OK. Now it will insert this above the table, but we can just cut and paste this and then add in brackets in here. Then I'm going to format this. So I'm going to right align it and put it in the center of the cell. And then I am going to increase the font size on this and then select the table and remove all of the borders so we can't see the table anymore. And this is now looking like how an equation would look in a textbook with the equation on the left hand side and then the number on the right hand side. Now I can do this again by inserting another table and cutting and pasting the equation into the table and then going to references and insert caption and inserting another caption 
and moving it into the table. Now I'm not going to bother formatting this one, I just want to demonstrate that the number down here, which was one, has now changed to two. It has automatically updated itself because we added another equation above it. You can also add a cross reference into this. So for example, in equation, and then go to insert and cross reference and change the reference type to equation and then select equation two and insert and then close. And now we have equation two here and this number will automatically update if we add in any more equations. And also if I press down control and then click on it, it will automatically take me to equation two in the document. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to write symbols and equations in Microsoft Word, and that is everything.